Yeah, yeah, I know the drill. Hey, watch the merchandise! <laughs> Yeesh. So I guess this is it. Locked up in this dark, cold chamber with nothing fun to do, surrounded by a bunch of other idiots who got themselves in trouble? Huh. You know what this place reminds me of? So if you didn't know, I'm young. Not that young, but young enough to be looked down upon by the elderly. And as you know, young people go through this educational system we all know, and may not love, known as school. But there's this certain period of time during school that gives most people the heebie-jeebies. I'm talking about middle school. The worst years of your life. Now I can rant on and on about middle school and how it sucks as a whole, but that's not what you came here for. You came here for the stories, the adventures, the romance. Okay, not that last part, but it doesn't matter. So this one time in science class, there was a pretty big assignment that we had to do. We did this whole assignment online, and two days before we had to submit it, the teacher tells everyone in the class, Alright class, before we finish our big old assignment, I'd like to let you all know that this is going to have to be printed out on paper for full credit. Also, you're going to want to blah 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 Oh, come on. Now I gotta print this thing? What's next? Am I going to have to give it to him on a silver platter? So on and so on. You know how it is. The due date rolls around a couple days later, and in the period before that class, I suddenly remembered. I still had yet to even think about printing this paper. I started devising a plan on how to get this printed. Then I remembered there's a printer in the school office that was free for students to use. So I asked the teacher to use the bathroom and booked it to the office. Listen, I know that honesty is the best policy, but I did not care in this situation whatsoever. I was upstairs, and the printer was all the way across the building downstairs. Also, class would be ending in four minutes, and there were only two minutes between periods as well. So the stress was real. I run all the way across the school, skipped down the steps, and made it to the office with three total minutes to spare. Just enough time to print this. I asked the teacher to borrow the printer, and as soon as I go up to print my assignment, this random kid decides to walk up and print his 30-page essay right before I got there. This, of course, did not help me whatsoever! After this annoying Brad is finished with his papers, I check the clock. 1.44. The minute before the period ends. Welp, time to cry. As soon as those papers finished, I bolt out of the office. I dash to the stairs, skip four steps at a time, run all the way to class, and made it. 30 seconds after class started. Thankfully, the teacher didn't mind, so I was safe. Although, as he's walking around to what I assume to be collecting the papers, he stops at my desk, sees my papers, and says, Oh, you printed this at home? Yeah, what about it? Oh, well, we were gonna head to the computer lab and do it, but... Oh, okay. Good for you. <laughs> is, is he okay? Oh, he'll be fine. I also remember that on my bus, a bunch of kids used to throw paper airplanes at the bus driver for some reason. It was cruel, yeah, but it was the most entertaining thing that happened on my bus, so I'm not complaining too much. <laughs> hey, watch this! Who threw that?! None of ye? Alrighty then. AGAIN! Who was it? Nah, oh, don't let it happen again. Of course, this was immediately shut down when some kids got detentions for it. Not me though, I still got a clean record. Read it and weep. There's nothing there. Exactly. Lunch is also fun. Everybody would just be yelling at each other and talking over everybody. Hey, did you see Harold's story? Anyways, back to the juicy stories. I want to talk about the number one place in all schools. The boys' bathroom. One time you could just walk in with no one bothering anyone. And another time some kids are duking it out in a toilet paper handed boxing match. That is a true story and I was the referee. Moving on. This one time entering this sacred place. No one else was in there so I was just free to do my own thing and leave. Though when I went to the sink to wash my hands, I swiped the automatic sink thing that turns it on which took like four tries, god why is it so difficult, and was greeted to an unpleasant surprise with water spewing everywhere. It was going all over the place. The floor, the walls, the ceiling, but most importantly, my clothes. 
specifically my pants. And after wiping down my clothes 20 times with paper towels, I ended up having to go back to class with my pants completely soaked. Are, are you sure he's okay? Oh, he'll be fine. Speaking of class, I will admit that I have fallen asleep in class. Quite a lot. Look, waking up at 6 a.m. every day and having to go to this dungeon and be bored out of my absolute mind, I'm going to fall guilty of getting some shut-eye. I don't care though, sleep is more important to me. Though this one time when I was snoozing during history class, my teacher, who was probably going over the same ancient Egypt lesson for the 90th time, walks up to my desk and slams his hands on it. I never woke up in more fear in my whole life. Anyway, shout out to my history teacher, he's cool. So what can we gain from this? Middle school sucks, don't forget about assignments, praise the restroom gods, and sleep more instead of staying up late making stupid YouTube videos. Come to think of it, I need to get back to doing that. When do I get out of here anyways? Yeah.